Good afternoon. It's uh, my pleasure as board chairman of the Oklahoma City County Health Department and a member of the Pu Partners in Public Health to welcome you all. It's a special day. Uh, I have a lot of gratitude and admiration to Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Oklahoma and its president, Mr. Ted Haynes, uh, for their vision and their community cooperation. Uh, with their help, we're once again going to be able to move forward with the uh, construction and operation of our sports field on the east side of the campus. This fits in nicely with our campus dream of completing uh, healthy uh, things to do. Uh, thanks to Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma, we've had the beautiful Kaboom uh, playground. Uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, I noticed a caravan outside. Uh, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield partners uh, with us to provide immunizations, uh, largely to uh, people of lower social and economic uh, classes, but also such things as tetanus shots after the tornado and other special uh, projects, for, that, uh, uh, for instance, infectious disease outbreaks. So uh, it's clear that uh, we have a wonderful uh, partner in Oklahoma with Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Um, one thing I, I would again be, uh, want to stress is Blue Cross Blue Shield shares our vision of wellness and prevention. We understand that good health is good business. It's good for all of us. It's good for the people. It's good for the companies. It reduces health care costs and uh, it makes for a, a great state. So with, without further uh, uh, expressions of gratitude and appreciation to Mr. Haynes, I would like to in introduce the president of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma, Mr. Ted Haynes. Thank you, Dr. Cagle. I'm so excited to be here. It's an honor to be here representing Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Oklahoma. You know, giving grants like this is one of the most fun parts of my job. I get to do a lot of things that are fun, but this is, this is really fun. So I'm here today to present $150,000 to the Partners in Public Health and the Oklahoma City County Health Department to, to build the sports fields that the Dr. Cagle just talked about here on this wonderful campus. <laughs> this grant is made possible by something that I'm really proud of. We call it our Healthy Kids and Healthy Families Initiative. And it supports programs and uh, projects that improve the health and the status of children in our state. And it really focuses on four different things. One is nutrition, education. Two, promoting physical activity. Three, preventing and managing disease. And four, supporting safe environments. And we, uh, I think we hit at least two of those with, the, with these sports fields that we're talking about with here. Uh, the Partners in Public Health and the Oklahoma City County uh, Health Department have had a long history of working with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma, and we're really proud of that. And we've really kind of done that in several different ways. One of those that, that Dr. Cagle mentioned, mentioned is our caring vans, and the caring vans are actually owned by the Oklahoma Caring Foundation, which I have the privilege of being the chairman of the board of and the president of. But, and Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma provides the operating expenses for that foundation so that then it can use its five vans to go around the state and provide immunizations to um, children that are underprivileged. They either have to be on Medicaid, uninsured, or Native American. When, as you mentioned, we've actually got one of the vans parked out front, so whenever you leave, if you'd like to take a look at it, that would be great. And I'm very excited to say that we're going to be adding another van this year, and we're going to be kind of uh, branching out a little bit and adding a dental screening van, so we're kind of expanding. Then in May, whenever we had the tornadoes, which by the way, this is the sixth, six month anniversary of that, of that happening. Can you believe it's been that long? We kind of converted those vans into vans that could go up and down the streets and provide tetanus shots at the request of the, of the Oklahoma City County Health Department. Kaboom down here, I guess everybody's seen the Kaboom probably ground. We, we partnered with the, uh, with the health department to build that Kaboom so we could provide a place for children to play. And there's a lot of open space, though, as you can see on this map, around where that kaboom is. And so we're really excited to be able to provide sports fields now to go out there. Those sports fields will provide an additional safe and affordable place for kids to grow and learn and get, get uh, physical exercise. So I'd like to commend both the health department and the partners in public health for your vision in developing this wonderful campus 
And we're so excited about being a part of it. In fact, we held one of our board meetings out here last year so that all of our board members could, could get an opportunity to experience it. So this is going to be a refuge of safety for a long time to come for kids in this area. And I would just like to applaud you for building it, for thinking of it. We're so proud that we get to be a part of it. And we just want to thank you for letting us be a part of it. So thank you very much. Uh, I'll tell you, this is, this is an exciting day. And uh, you know what? We are making a difference. These types of partnerships are making a difference. Three years ago, uh, we did a wellness score for every zip code in Oklahoma County. And this zip code here, 73111, had serious challenges and had the most uh, challenges of any zip code in Oklahoma County. I'm happy to say that due to the uh, efforts on wellness and on prevention and on partnerships such as this, we just are finishing our three-year assessment and this zip code has improved in health outcomes and is no longer uh, at the level it is. It's on the way up. And so um, we just want to say that it's partnerships like this that makes these things happen. And, um, and I think we're going to see some good things throughout our county. And I think this campus, Dr. Cagle, Dr. Harris, and Ted, is just an example of a kind of an integrated approach to how we keep folks well and offering all of the access uh, in the areas where it's most needed. And we don't want to stop here. Our board has approved a, a, a regional plan to move to southwest Oklahoma City, which now zip code 73108 in the cluster of zip codes in southwest Oklahoma City has now become uh, the most challenged. We're on the way up here. We want to we wanna see what we can do to work with the community and to work with, uh, with everything that's going on in southwest Oklahoma City so that this is a model, this is a perfect model that can be replicated uh, all around our county so that all of our citizens have access to the same types of services that are available here. The services here are outstanding and, and we're so appreciative of, of the partnership that we've had with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma. And I'm happy and proud to say that my personal uh, relationship goes back with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma for some 20 years back to the very first carrying van uh, about 20 years ago. And so it's been a very productive, uh, a very rewarding partnership in the great things that you're doing for this community uh, that are really making a difference. And so we, we are greatly appreciative of that. Um, and so uh, I think good things are happening. And I think we're going to see this campus, as Ted says, it's going to continue to develop. And it's going to be a national model uh, all around the country that folks can point to about taking an integrated kind of a holistic approach to health and wellness. And I know that we've got our, some Millwood students here. We're happy to have you today. I know the Millwood students come over and they play soccer. They come to the Kaboom Playground. Uh, we have kids come here for summer camp. And so uh, we're real happy that the facilities are being used here. And we look forward to many more years of, uh, of good things here on this campus and elsewhere. So again, thank you. Remember this day here. You know, there's two good things about this gift. One, it's a sports field. Second, there's no parts to assemble. <laughs> we had, and that's what this uh, rep represents here, Ted. This was a, a day that we all got together and it kind of shows what happened when you, when you had the synergy of pe people working together. I forget, this is what, four and a half hours, something like that? And a long time. Long time. <laughs> and so here's a p picture. I'm not sure you're in there, but I remember you out here slaving away, doing all this sort of stuff. This is it's really a, nice. Yeah, thank you very much for your efforts. And I would like to say on, on the uh, part of the Partners of uh, Public Health and the City County Board of Health, that Blue Cross and Blue Shield, you guys have always been in the arena. When it comes to the healing arts prevention, you're up there in front. And you made an interesting statement that we had Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and Texas. Three great rivalries there, <laughs> well, but he goes to show that there's no boundaries when it comes to public health. There you go. So, Ted, thank you so, so thank much you for your efforts. I appreciate that. Rich. This <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have one grandson, and it just so happens that his mom and dad and our grandson was here today, here when we built this. 
And so it brings back a lot of good memories for me because it was a lot of fun having him here. Thank you very much.